You know, you can hop a flight to Vegas, hit the road to Lake Charles, or just head to Uptown or the west side of Houston. Poker clubs are starting to pop up all around the city. Texas law allows social gambling with certain restrictions. Tonight, Channel 2's Andy Sirota explains how club owners keep it legal and why some local lawmakers are concerned. It's got all the stakes of Vegas-style poker. The bets and the bluffs. All in. But these hands of Texas Hold'em are being played right here in the Houston area. It is a private, members-only poker club. Just a great place to facilitate people that love the game of Texas Hold'em and other variations of the game to come out and play. So you have how many dealers? Carl Pittman and Scott Ketchum are the owners of the poker club at West Houston, right off the Katy Freeway. They've been friends for 32 years. Both served in the Marines and worked as law enforcement officers. They opened the club in May and say in just two months, they signed up 450 members. We're told so many times, boy, I'm surely, I'm happy we don't have to drive to Lake Charles anymore just to play poker. The poker club at West Houston isn't the only game in town. Over the last year, other poker clubs have popped up in Houston too, but is it legal? If it was wrong, I wouldn't be doing it. Technically, these poker games are not against the law. This is how it stacks up. According to Chapter 47 of the Texas Penal Code, gambling is against the law, unless you're in a private place. No one profits from hosting the game, and it has to be fair, giving everyone a chance to win. Carl says he and his partner follow the letter of the law. Does the house get paid off the winnings? Absolutely not. Uh, we only make our income from what happens at the door, the entry fee, the initiation fee, and renting these chairs at $15 an hour. That would be absolutely illegal to do that, and we're not going to do that. But not everyone thinks this is a good idea. They are skirting around the law, and they've done it in a very sneaky way. They're basically running casinos. They're not selling alcohol, so the TABC is not involved. It's a very sneaky way, and it needs to be stopped. What do you say to those people who are part of that mindset that, hey, you know, we don't want this in the neighborhood. We don't want it in Houston because it has the potential to bring a criminal element with it. I would respectfully ask them to come down to the club, talk to myself, talk to Carl, meet our players. You won't see a criminal element in here. You'll see soccer moms, doctors, police officers, correction officers, oil people, sports people, folks that want to play Texas Hold'em and they want to do so in a safe environment. Earlier this month, the Texas Attorney General declined to give an opinion on whether these clubs are permitted under Texas law. Instead, he has chosen to stay out of the matter and let the courts decide. So until then, Texas Hold'em will go on. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.